Hello and greetings. Welcome back to video number seven on our series of how to use Redmine uh, Project Management Manager as a construction slash service um, setup. So let's go ahead and jump right in. On the previous uh, video, I actually skipped um, a section. So let me go ahead and actually log in. Freelance. And, uh, oops. Okay, so where we left off was I was going to show you how you get rid of these tabs that are here. Um, because for a, you know, service like this particular customer, they definitely don't need uh, news uh, wikis, repositories, because that's not something they, that they do, or that's not typical. Where What you do is you go under your projects, you click on whatever the project is, or the customer on, on this particular sense, and you click on settings on the right. And then on here, you're going to find modules. And here's where you're actually going to take off um, maybe forms, uh, might not be something that you actually need and I'll show you why because there's, there's no forms what you are going to do is do uh, uh, documents and so forth so news we're going to get rid of wiki we're going to get rid of repository we're going to get rid of and forums and we're going to go ahead and save and now you'll notice that now this got shorter uh, files uh, we'll get it deeper into what files are uh, members obviously who the members are and versions and so forth um, issue categories um, that sometimes I leave it um, but now where you want to affect this in general would be under your administration though because this is after uh, you've missed it then that's what you would you would actually go under your administration settings and then you're going to go under your display, excuse me, um, projects. So under projects, remember how we, on, on our previous videos, we found that we kept on having to uncheck public? Well, that's because it was already here. So but we're going to take this off. We're going to take off whatever we don't want to be defaulted. So we're going to take off news. Uh, wiki repository forums um yeah that's fine and then uh what the default ones are so um yeah i normally leave this off um normally the, their, the managers are or the whoever takes the calls they're the ones that actually input this part um and that should be it if i save this now any new customer that I create um, is not going to have that. So we and we could test this. If I go here under uh, new project, and I'm a, I'm actually going to put this as customer two. So and if you notice here at the bottom, it's actually customer two the identifier. I always leave it as uh, the name of the customer. And you'll notice that now by default, there's no uh, check on here. I am going to put on on here inherit members, and I forgot to, to set that up earlier. And you'll notice that by default, the repository is not selected, forums, and none of this is selected. Now, the trackers is where, um, let's say, um, no, actually, for the, on the trackers, they should have had everything. Um, for the issues is where we were more selective um, so I I messed up but we're going to continue and under members now under the the tab for members we're going to add who has access to this so basically it's going to be the admin the service admin um, service tech one and two and the managers and press ok and that's it basically you save it 
if I go under my projects, you'll notice that now there's a customer too. And you'll notice that he's the hierarchy, so he's the very top one, but there's nothing below him. Now, if I was to set up all these, like let's say the issues on top of this, it would just become a nightmare because everything's on top of this versus I separate the time, the time material, warranty under service, and installation is also separate. Um, hopefully this video helped um, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.